Disclaimer, I'm not a deep analyst, just some guy who wants to talk about a subject. On with the video. Toriel kinda sucks. Wait, 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 before you go into the comments and say something not so family friendly, let me just explain, alright? Toriel, the caretaker of the ruins as she puts it, is the mother figure slash guide while you venture throughout the ruins. Now before I get into what I will be talking about, please don't confuse this with the video to hate on Toriel. I loved Toriel when I first met her, and doing my neutral, I actually killed her by accident because I was getting used to the fights. Uh, I cried for days after that. Uh. Continuing, let's talk about Toriel's major flaws. Her treatment towards you, Asgore, as well as some other characters. Let's start off with you, Frisk. Upon meeting her, she teaches you the way of the ruins and informs you on various puzzles and monsters you may encounter. Towards the end of the ruins, you enter a fight with Toriel, and the whole basis of the fight is Toriel trying to stop you from leaving. She's obviously trying to protect you, but in a way that doesn't seem very fitting. Instead of explaining why you can't leave, she just tries to discipline you into going back home by hurting you in the fight, and then telling you to go back upstairs if you give up and flee. Now, I'm all for her keeping us down in the ruins, even though to some it may seem like a form of emotional manipulation or even kidnapping, depending on one's perspective. I'd be safe, I'd be learning with her own, but out curriculum, I'd be fed and taken care of. But the fact that she just doesn't elaborate further is pretty bad. Let's say you continue on with the fight and spare her multiple times. She realizes that maybe Frisk doesn't want to stay with her and just accepts it. But here's what I think is wrong about this. She just lets you go and then tells you, Please do not come back. I don't understand this. It's either she's too overprotective or not protective at all to the point where it feels like she has no remorse for leaving you to die. And she knows this because of her earlier dialogue about Asgore. And yes, you could argue that she comes to save you from Asgore fighting him. What about Undyne? She never helped once and Undyne had the intent to kill. And Toriel was never mindful of it because she was cooped up in the ruins. Of course, she made sure that Sans would keep us safe, but come on. If it was up to me, I would not trust the safety of my semi-child to a stranger with a deep voice that tells bad jokes. <laughs> Disclaimer number two. I'm just going along with what I think, so please correct me. Don't be a jerk about it, though. Alright, now let's talk about her treatment towards Asgore. She hates him. Damn, Daniel! <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all know that. Why so much to the point where she calls him a pathetic whelp and ridicules him for what he has done? First off, she hates him for declaring war on the humans after his son died, which I think is fairly justified. Of course, he could explain that Azrael killing Kara was just a big misunderstanding, but still, seeing how the humans are and their fear towards the monsters, I don't think they would be up to sit down and have a nice cup of tea just to hear Asgore out. On the basis of what Asgore has done, i.e. killing six humans, he has only done it for the sake of his people. And if it means that he has to kill then, then I think he's justified in that department as well. But, but still, Toriel can't be seen with him from how disgusted she is with his actions. Then when you reunite with Asgore, she throws all of that away, telling him that he could have just passed through the barrier after he got one soul and killed six more humans. But come on Toriel, do you really think that Asgore, your ex-husband, would want to hurt anyone? You knew him. Of course not, but it was because it wasn't his choice to be trapped underground. You can tell he isn't the fighting type, as stated by Undyne, his happy-go-lucky nature. Even when you meet him, you can just see by his reaction that he wouldn't hurt a fly unless he had to, which in this case, he does. As long as his people can be free whether it takes long or not, he's still gonna be sure to do it. He is gonna do it. He's stuck between two sides, his morality and his people. So I hope you think that I'm right, that Toriel should have no right to be angry at Asgore. At the very leash. Dude, why the heck did I just say leashed? <laughs> She could try convincing him otherwise, unless she's already tried that. Now lastly, this will just be an overview on some of the other interactions Toriel has had with characters that I don't necessarily agree with. If the player chooses to fight Toriel instead of sparing her, she becomes extremely angry and attacks the player with powerful magic. While this is a common trope in video games, some people might find it disturbing or violent. She's a homophobe. Uh, uh, just kidding! Just kidding, okay. She still despises Asgore, even in Deltarune. Not even putting aside the fact that in that universe, Asgore didn't even do anything major. No killing of the humans, nothing. He's not even king. Yet she still shields her kids from him, and as shown in gameplay, Asgore is eager to meet you and greets you with a big hug once you step inside his flower shop. Um, I ran out of ideas. Could it be? Toriel's actually a good person? Ah, uh, okay, but in all seriousness, I don't hate Toriel. I don't think that she's poorly written or just bad overall. Her role as the tutorial character is really well done. Toby built a relationship that felt so real that even I felt bad because of her death. A fictional character. I'm glad that she wasn't just some boring tutorial character that's just unimportant to the game like some characters I've seen. So, uh, you can yell at me now.
Cue the outro.